Hello, welcome to Crafting Kitty. My name is Erin and it's Saturday, which means it's time for my weekly roundup. Yay! So, excuse me, what is the weekly roundup? Basically, it's where I talk about my weekend crafting. I talk about my works in progress, whips and FOs, finished objects. As predicted last week, there were not very many finished objects this week. And that's okay, it happens sometimes, especially when you have larger projects or some backtracking that needs to be done. Just all part of the game, right? Um, I also have my Ellie Leva stitch marker of the day. This is day six from her spring set. What I don't have is the whole pack because I cleverly stacked whips on top of it. So, sorry I can't show you the whole set in its jumbled glory, but we can see what day six is. Oh, that's so pretty. So it's like a minty green bead with a white, blue, red, yellow flower painted on it with pink beads at the top and bottom. Look at how cute that is. I love that, that's just so cute. Okay, I'm going to put it here and I'll add it to the set when I find it. Okay, finished objects, again, I have one, not many, and that's okay. I do have to take a picture of this and send it to Lori, Armchair Chef, because it is my whip. <laughs> it's ridiculously big on Patty. Um, my whip for the MYC 424. So this month, April's Mystery Yarn Challenge, I am working on whips, and then I send yarn to someone. So. I have sent the yarn. I'm excited to see what she creates. I did stick to it because I wanted the slouchy hat. I wanted it because with the slouchy hat, my ponytail can fit under it. When I wear ponytails, it actually covers my ears for the winter time. I am so excited to have finished the hat. So I was able to finish it because my Joanne's order came in and got me the one remaining, well, I got two, just in case. I needed probably a quarter of one of the balls to finish it up, and that's okay. That's how it happens sometimes, but I was not messing around. And you can kind of tell they're different dye lots because the color in the new one is almost a little bit richer, but I don't think it's that terribly noticeable, and it's going to be on my head anyway, so who cares? But anyway, I have finished my mystery yarn challenge project for the month of April. Um, I did pull out a scarf that I was going to work on when I wasn't sure if that hat was going to happen. I might just play it easy and work on my other projects for this month and do the scarf for May. I think that's the best plan. Focus on working down some of these bigger projects. Anyway, so that's my only finished object. Um, it's a slouchy shell hat that matches a stitch pattern for some uh, wrist warmers, hand warmers, warmies, fingerless gloves, whatever you want to call them, by Hooked by Robin that I made for Things We're Making Thursday. And then Hooked by Robin had a matching um, scarf that I made into kind of a shorter infinity scarf, longer cowl type situation. And then Crystal from Hook That Yarn had found this hat, which matched, and I started the brim and then just lost it, recovered it in a pile of what I thought was uh, scrap yarn <laughs> as I was cleaning my craft room. I um, actually found it was amongst four projects. Um, one of them is socks, so I don't think that's going to make its way to the Mystery Yarn Challenge. I'm not going to commit to finishing a pair of socks <laughs> in a one month time period. It's, it's not going to happen with the rest of the things I like to do. Um, anyway, why am I blabbering on? I don't know. That had, I think it's linked down below. If not, remind me and I will search it out. Um, for whips, I did, so you've already got a sneak peek of this if you watched, I think it was Things We're Making Thursday. Maybe it was Fridays with Fred. I'm pretty sure it was Things We're Making Thursday, but the stitch marker of the day was a dragonfly and I was like, oh, dragonflies, oh my goodness because I did add my skein, my mini skein of the week to my, uh, this is supposed to be a cowl, right? 
Is that what they're calling it? Anyway, my pickle jar project. I added it, and these happen to be my wedding colors. I have a thing for dragonflies. I wore a dragonfly necklace at my wedding. It led to a whole diatribe about my wedding and dragonflies and whatnot during that video. But I finished it. I also showed this since I was talking about the colors. Um, did that make any sense? I don't know. I'm talking weirdly. I apologize. Um, that is my Aberdeen Wool's Pickle Jar Kit Cowl. Um, the Pickle Jar you I think it's like 50 bucks maybe it's 65 I don't know and you buy the pickle jar it comes with 40 mini skeins it comes with two knit patterns this cowl and a bias scarf it also comes with the circular needles here that I'm using on the project um, so basically the idea is you take the 40 mini skeins knit them up make a project and Aberdeen sells refills so you don't have to always buy a new actual jar you can just buy the refills and shove them in. So my plan is to try each week to add a mini to this project and then it'll take the better part of a year but that's okay that's okay. Um, sometimes we have the slow easy projects and I'm not planning it out like see, it would be kind of cool to pull these all out and try to make a gradient pattern but I'm just letting fate take its course the pickle jar of fate I reach my hand in we pull out the next one and that's what I add this week so I don't shake it up or like start try to stir it so I guess it's not totally fate but I don't look and I just reach my hand in and grab and I got this one nice this is this is really like Victorian colors I know we're all about the Victorian tonight is Bod's party are you going to be able to go? I, I just, I don't make lives anymore. Um, and plus like the chat goes so crazy. I just, lives are not my thing, but I do like popping in when I can. Um, but I think that's going to be a crazy time and I hope everyone who goes has fun and I hope it's wildly successful for her. She absolutely deserves it. She worked so hard for so long to make that million happen. I'm very proud of her. I know she doesn't even know I exist, but we can still be proud of our community. Um, anyway, Victorian colors. It's got like a plum purple, kind of tans and uh, browns. And it's a, there's like a greenish color, but it also reads kind of brown. I don't know how to describe it. Yeah, I think it's green, like a sagey, dusty sagey. Anyway, it's very pretty. And this is the next color that will be added to my cowl. Yay! Put it back here until I can start working on it. Okay, next project. I did start, no, we're gonna skip. We'll do knit, crochet. No, I do only have two knit patterns, so I'll just do this. Um, I did start Brian's socks. So I am doing, um, I am a proud nerd fighter. I'm going to do it wrong. I'm doing it wrong already. I've started thinking about it and I've done it wrong. There you go. Um, <laughs> so I like the, the green brothers, John and Hank green vlog brothers. And I'm sad this year I missed the P4A, but either last year or the year before for the P4A, the project for awesome, I always get the digital download bundle and one of it was an ebook of sock patterns that a nerd fighter had put together. Um, the very first one was a vanilla sock pattern that read virtually identical to the crazy sock ladies pattern that I've done a lot now so I've skipped that one but the second one was simple rib socks and I have not made a ribbed sock yet so I thought okay sounds good. So I measured Brian's foot and went for it. Um, this says at wooly underscore waves Darcy Anderson. I'm going to guess she wrote it. Um, I just printed it up when it came through as a digital download perk and put it in my binder. Uh, I put the whole book in one sleeve. That's why this isn't in a sleeve protector. Um, and I am using this beautiful green yarn it's green sock yarn i am almost done with the cuff you do a 30 row cuff 
and then start the I'm pretty sure you start the heel flap right yep then you do the heel flap because it's a it's a cuff down and what yarn is this Erin I am doing it's jelly beans yarns this is a yarn I got when I bought some D stash from uh Daniel and Ash at Pawpaw Yarn at Pawpaw Guys that's their channel I think it's like Pawpaw and Lego now something like that um but the colorway is seaweed and this is 75 superwash merino 25 percent nylon uh, 100 grams 465 yards this is very nice it's very soft it is not stretchy so I know some people like a, some stretch in their sock yarn this is not stretchy but it's so pretty and I'm happy to be finally creating socks for Brian so like I said I've actually measured his foot and this one is kind of written unisexy so I don't think it's designed necessarily just for a male or a female's foot and because it's so ribbed it's gonna have a lot of stretch for him so there we go that is on the go and I'm nearly done with the cuff what do I have next um, I'm gonna need to blow my nose Next, I have my Sophie's Universe. I did work on her this week. I am I'm working on section 9. I've just completed row 72, and I'm about to start row 73. So there's row 73, 74, and then I'll start the next section. Um, but here she is. So... You can kind of see what I've done. It's hard to tell from week to week. But I put in the stem row, that's that green, and another row. And I think, I forget where I was. Did I finish row 69 last time I showed her? I don't remember. But here you go. We've got more Sophie. So this, because they were a leaf, a stem, Type thing I've been doing greens in there but I had run out of this um, red heart green apple and this is supposed to be a scrap can so this is a green I had left over from a project the gnome scarf um, so I grabbed that it's a little brighter than I'd been doing in the rest of the blanket but I think it's gonna look just fine it's all gonna tie together just fine the next